Uh, a couple of minutes ago, I uh, did a video on uh, acupuncture and the jet lag eliminator, and uh, in between I wanted to see whether I was on the internet, so I uh, went to Yahoo, and uh, by golly, it was so exciting. The vice presidential candidates are debating. Uh, I find this whimsical. I find it... Uh, uh, Bill Hicks, uh, I think, put it fairly accurately. He said, you know, I don't know why people get so upset about the two different parties, because they're all puppets, right? And the man in the middle is controlling the puppets. Uh, oddly enough, in America, it's so politically correct, I can say that we have a puppet of color, but I can't say we have a colored puppet in the White House. And I have nothing against any of them, except the ones that are overtly starting wars, but they're all overtly starting wars if you look in behind it, if you look in behind the hegemonic uh, imperialistic tendency of the United States of America. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. And now we're being flooded, vote this, vote that, vote this, vote that. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll vote. If I do vote, it'll probably be against the incumbent. Uh, I think keeping things shook up is the only way uh, to keep things at least confusing enough. When the parties change, there's so much confusion that goes on. There's so much in-house fighting and and competition and kill-or-be-killed mentality that uh, voting just against the status quo, I think, will create the most amount of disruption. Uh, years ago, I was in a class. I was doing a class. And we look at astrology. I think you know that. And there was a young man who was a Scorpio dog and... Uh, George Bush Sr. was running, and uh, he said, I'm going to vote for George Bush Sr. He said, because I want the system to collapse, and I think that that idiot will do it faster than anybody else. And I said, well, I, you know, I think if, if we can get Ross Perot in, uh, I think he would cause a, a, a real fast meltdown of a lot of the systems that are in place. And so this young man agreed that we would go and vote for Ross Perot. Uh, I voted for Ross Perot. A lot of people I know vote for Ross Perot uh, and I mean everybody I talk to now I have a f small circle of people that I talk to but I was really kind of surprised that he didn't make it uh, I'm if I had my tendencies I would vote for Ron Paul um, not that you really give a shit about my political views I got an email from uh, somebody that I know and they were going on oh you must be a Obama Democrat you know, it's like, it um, doesn't really matter. Uh, they're both warmongers. We are a warmongering nation. Uh, no nation on the planet uh, has ever been as democratic, as Christian, and as warmongering as the United States of America. Um, just look at the numbers. Uh, I don't. You don't have to agree with me. I really don't want people to agree with me. But um, on that note, have a fun day. Uh, I'm glad I stumbled across the elections. Uh, debates for the vice presidents. Uh, I didn't bother looking at it, but it was horribly exciting knowing that they're going on right now. www.micpeakperformance.com uh, And for the last one, uh, jetlageliminator.com Have fun.